Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hope you are all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex and welcome back to GTA 5. In the previous video, I completely and utterly embarrassed myself and you guys did not hesitate for a second to point out the stupidity of everything in, in that previous video because I was told to make a gasser version of the tornado and I did pretty much the opposite of the gasser. I'm not entirely sure what was going through my mind. I sort of built it as a drag car because I had the nose down. I knew that the gasser was some type of rake. As I pointed out in that video, I didn't know much about gasses. Truth be told, I did know gasses did go up at the front, but in that moment, something just happened and I just never caught on the, the fact that I was doing it wrong. But it might have something to do with the fact that gasses, are, they're just not really, are not, they're all right. But I'm not that big into them and you I guess it's just a style of thing that I don't see that often and it's just something that I just... I was able to let slip by without noticing the error of my ways. And so I thought I would make up for this stupid error by hopefully doing a full video of making custom gases without embarrassing myself. It's going to be a tough one, I'm pretty sure I am, but hopefully in this video I'm going to make a few different gasser style cars using the v starter mod so before we get into all of that there's going to be some comments on the screen comments some of them probably pointing out the error of my ways if you would like to point out the error of my ways in this video you can leave a comment in the comment section below i'll pick some errors pointed out at random and feature them at the start of the next video by the way please don't <laughs> just now i'm just expecting people to just point out every single tiny error and it's going to make me cry as i read through and thinking why am i such an idiot Right, actually, now that we've driven past that, I think that that parking space up there will probably be a nice place for us to modify this tornado that we are in. Because this is what I should have been making into a gasser in the first place. Let's go down here and tune it. Okay, here we are. So, let's just go ahead and repair ourselves. So, this already looks sort of gassery in the fact that this looks higher than the back purely because of the shape of that. All I know is that for the real gasser look, from what I've understood from just trying to look through on Google Images and stuff like that, they have quite thin small wheels on the front, as I would expect on a drag car. Big massive wheels on the back, but the difference is that this has the nose up. Now, we can do the nose up and everything else, we can make the suspension generally higher, but we can't make the front wheel small and the, big, and the rear wheels big. It's just not something we can do. So, of course, these aren't going to be perfect. They're just going to look somewhat like a gas so it's the best we're going to do so let's just go ahead now first of all on wheels I want to get a muscle because I want to look for the Fook style wheels these things are these no these are not called Fooks are they what are these I can't remember what these wheels are called but they do have a specific name I've, I've fooked up and forgotten the name well this is the sort of thing it, uh, maybe I'm thinking of Jukes <laughs> oh there's my first mistake. Let me know about my mistake in the comment section below. Right, so there's the Duke's wheels. This is the wheel that I've noticed on so many pictures of gasses. So I figured that that's the sort of wheel we should have. And actually, although this one's got the chrome lip and everything, the bigger one seems to be the one to go for. So I'm going to go for that. And I'm going to change the wheel color to maybe something a little bit brighter just so we can see it. Maybe something like that white. Or maybe we'll just go silver. Or... Let's go back to default. <laughs> right, we've got all this front bumper and stuff. I guess this could look kind of gassery. I'm sure we can do that. We'll go for some side exit exhaust because, again, I think that's going to be... Because gasser seems to be like... They look like drag cars, but... What is it about gassers? Why are they up at the front? Is it, I think I read somewhere it's to do with the fact that it's to change the engine mounts to fit massive engines in. But I thought you could do that anyway without having to like lift the front. So I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. So, of course, we want to go for this big, massive triple intake bug catcher here. As I've seen with the pictures I've looked at, they've often had blown engines on them. We've got all the fender stuff that we can do. That's going to probably look a bit too fancy, so I'm going to get rid of all of that sort of stuff. We can't get the cool liveries and stuff that I've seen with the gases, so we're going to have to try and improvise and maybe just go for a nice colour. Uh, we've got these fender ornaments. Again, they're all a bit too fancy, I think, for this. This is supposed to be sort of like a stripped-out drag car in a way. So it's just a case of finding a nice paint for it. And actually, the colour that I saw in the last picture that I looked at was yellow. So I'm going to go for 
Do you know what? That car in yellow looks bloody beautiful. Look at it. I love that colour. Now I can't remember what colour I did the one in the previous video. Maybe I did that one yellow as well. Uh-oh, maybe that's mistake number two. Or three. Not entirely sure. Right, so that's yellow. Secondary colour. I don't think we could do anything on the secondary. Let's have a look. No, that seems to be the same. Just pretend we've got some cool sort of like classic style... Um, it's like shop writing almost that I've seen on the uh, gas cars that I've seen. Right, that should be done. Now we can go to V-Stancer mod. Get a suspension menu. We have to jump out of that camera mode so it doesn't uh, zoom in and out all the time. And we want to just jack this up on the front like so. That's going to be pretty good. Actually, underneath it's still relatively looking like it's attached, which is good. But we don't want to go too far out because as you can see, it is starting to disconnect from the wheels. So we go to about there. It's going to look quite gassery. And then we just want the rear to match, but not to be level. I've noticed that some of them look level, but most of them have a slight drop on the rear. So if I get that, that's looking level. Now we can go with just a bit more on the front. And there we have, hopefully, a gasser-style tornado. Oh my god, actually, when you put this front up, it really makes the whole car just completely imbalanced and wobbly inside of the standard way that GTA uh, handling works. Actually, should we just get this wheel, I'm gonna get that back wheel poking out so it looks like it's supposed to be a wider wheel. And then the front one, I can tuck in just a little bit. And maybe as we've already got that, we can get a tiny bit of camber, purely just because I think that the wheels might camber a bit because you've got it like really high up, but I don't know, that might be a stupid thing to think of. But there we go, that is our Tornado Gasser, which I thought that was going to crumble down. No, there's a wall behind it. That was stupid. <laughs> Let's take number three. Okay, now we can crash through. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Right, let's try another muscle car before we start getting into the cars that probably shouldn't be turned into gases or might actually be the best gases we've ever seen. Let's find out. Okay, I think our next victim is going to be the Picador as I'd love to see this turned into a gasser. Okay, all parked up next to this skyline for a bit of fun. Let's just go down to Menus Customs, and I don't think there's much we can do to this. I just want to make it look a little bit more, like, mind you, there's no bodywork at all for this thing. It is purely just paint and wheels. And these are sort of like the wheels you would expect to see already, but I'm just going to go to Muscle anyway. I was thinking, let's just look through, see now, look. That's actually the chrome versions of the wheels that are already on this car. But I was just going to try and see if we could find a better, bigger version of those. I oh, see, here we go, there it is. That's the bigger version. That does look a little too big. I must admit. Do you know what? This is, I really should have made like a slammed mini trucks thing or pickup trucks thing. Because this would look so cool slammed out. I'm going to have to slam it first before we turn it into a gasser. Right, let's just find some better paint. There we go. Dark blue is going to look very nice. And let's just go to secondary just in case there is something else. But I think this is just a one color car. It is indeed. Right, let's just move out into the sun a bit more then. And first of all, I'm going to lower it down because I think this just looks so amazing with it slammed. So here we go. I'm going to put the front... Oh, we can't go too far down because the wheels are going to glitch through. Mind you, I could just go with a little bit of camber. As you know, that's still going to stick through. Okay, let's just poke that out towards that. And then go to height just so we can hide it. There we go, there's the front slammed down. I'll get back to gases in a second, don't you worry. How about that? Look at that, all slammed down. That is so damn cool. <laughs> I love it, I absolutely love it. I love slam trucks. Even though they look completely stupid and don't work, I just still love them. So we wanna get the height all the way to like here, something like that. Of course, I think we're gonna expect most of these front wheels are going to look disconnected because these cars aren't really designed to go that high. And then we're just going to get our rear height to match with a little bit so it's further down. Actually, that sort of works almost fine there. Maybe we can go down just a little bit more on the front, but I think that front height's actually okay there. And then we can have it just poking a little bit more on the back just so it looks like that the wheels are bigger because what I've seen in gases, they had the big wheel on the back. And then this one, I'll sort of tuck in just a little bit as if it was a smaller wheel. Definitely looks odd with these big, massive versions of these wheels, though. I might have to go for the smaller versions. It's a little bit glitchy. The way that I've managed to get it to fix itself is by lifting it more. Definitely not suggested, though. That's kind of weird. I don't know why it's done that. But as soon as I tried to get this level, the whole car just 
bugs out. Okay, I spawned in another one and I've made it a nice and shaded blue and I've gone for the smaller wheels because I think the other one is definitely a bit too blingy. Hopefully, this won't bug out this time. So I want to get the height to around there. Maybe this is just a car that just bugs a lot. We'll get it to around there and then we'll get it to match just a Yes, it's see, it just bounces. Maybe the Picador is just a really weird car that doesn't like having its suspension tampered. But I mean, visually, if we just get that front a bit higher to match that back... See, look, that, that looks fine. Just, just Let's just not move because it will break. Or is it fine now? No, it's a little bit glitchy, but there you go. There is a sort of Gasa Picador. Let's move on then to something else. Okay, I've got a great idea. I think that these gases look most appropriate on these older style cars. So I've gone for the Glendale. Maybe this will be on to a winner. So let's just quickly bust our way through the customs. Let's go for wheels, muscles, stock, classic five. Again, maybe we'll go for the Dukes this time, just to be a little bit fancy. Although they do look a little small. I guess that's the way that the classic five is just the best way to even it out, I guess. We have options for spoilers, but I think this might just be stuff for the boot. I don't think it's actually, I think they're just color things. Uh, I don't really think we need to worry about any of that, really. We have the custom front bumper. We can go for some of that. Skirts, custom skirts. Exhaust. Go for a, a dual shotgun. There we go. And I wanted us to have a blown engine, but I don't think we're going to have that at all. I'll go for a roof rack just for the retro look. We definitely have to change this color because it's the same color we had as the Picador just a second ago. I tell you, I'm really just loving oranges and yellows again. I definitely think that they're my favorite. It's just a really nice tonal color in this game I feel see again the color I'm drawn to is orange or oh, we can go for this light orange that's a nice different color we'll go for some of that then okay we'll go for that that's that all done now let's turn it into a gasser so front height up to about there that's looking good and then actually that side skirt is really gonna make the gasser look work perfectly because it makes it look like there's more rake because of that bottom line that actually looks really good. And then we could just go with a little bit more poking out of the back. Again, just to make it look like we've got wider wheels on, even though it's not really true. Tiny bit in at the front. And that is our gasser. Maybe we'll just drop the height just a little bit, because I think this is a little too high. Oh. Oh, yeah. If we went any higher than that, that would break the car. So I'm going to go down to about there and just drop that front just a little bit. And there is our gasser. Glendale. Definitely, I think the Tornado's worked best as a gasser so far, I guess, because it's a car that just suits the gasser look. Still not sold on the idea of gasses, though. I still think they look a little bit silly. Let's try a couple more. Okay, I've gone for the Regina, because from standard, it does have a little bit more of a sag to the back, which makes it look almost like it could be a gasser anyway. I'm just going to go straight to V-starts on this one. Go for the height. Knock it up to about there that seems about right and then just more height on the rear until it looks a bit gassery i think there is very gassery right there so i'm going to get a bit more on the back again make it look like wider wheels and then in fact it's already quite far in on the front so we leave it exactly like that and of course we need to change the wheels actually but there is a perfect gasser stance or at least I think so, but then I've been wrong in the past, so who knows. So let's just go wheels, muscle, stock, classic five, and then let's change the paint. Right, I've changed it for a bluey silver, because I think that looks really nice with the wood panelling. And that is that one done. So actually, I've just parked next to a car that I think might make a good gasser. So let's jump in to this one and give it a try. Okay, so here we go on menus customs. I just want to see, yes it does. Oh, this could be a good one. Let's just go for the long twin exhausts on the side. Wait, in fact, what's the dual shotgun one like? Oh, that's all on the rear. Let's just go for those ones on the side. Go for the custom front bumper, which actually I'm not sure if that's a gasser look or not, so I'm not going to go for that one. Then on the fenders, it's all just flared arches and stuff like that. Oh, actually, the arches. Oh, now, this is interesting because we haven't looked at this car with the V-Stancer mod yet because we could actually fill those arches using V-Stancer. Here we go. Track width out. Oh, look at that. That works absolutely perfectly. Now we get a nice flush look. That makes it look absolutely meaty. Get a load of that. But anyway, let's just turn it into a gas. Let's just go front height up. 
this sort of works. And then a bit more on the height. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. I like this. Go in on the front just a little bit. Get a load of that. That is awesome. And now we just need to get those uh, wheels to match as well. And probably change the paint because I'm going to go for matte black to go with those flames. And here we are with the Duke's wheels. Absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to change those colours to black as well. So they've got all black in the middle. Well, how about that? So many different ones. I'm going to try maybe one more. I think maybe we got one more in us. Maybe, I don't know. Let's just keep going. Okay, so in the previous video, I did attempt to do the tornado rat rod. But of course, I did it the wrong way around and I didn't do a gasser. And as this does have the proper thick rear wheels and then the small front wheels, this should be a perfect gasser. So let's just go straight in. We don't need to change anything else because you can't really modify anything with this. Let's just go front height up. I mean, we are missing the front end, but at least that we have the proper things to make it look like a gasser on the front. So there we go. We can have that like that. And then just go matching on the rear. There we go. That is a rat rod gasser right there. It does look very weird with that frame on the front. It would be nice if we had the front end of the car, but I think that does look amazing. So there is the Rat Rod Gasser version of the Tornado. Okay, we've done a bunch of cars that definitely were suited to looking like gassers. I'm going to end this one with one that definitely should not be a gasser. So let's go to menus, customs, wheels, muscles, of course going for these same wheels because I think these are like the perfect gasser wheels at this point. And that's pretty much all we can do. So let's just go for some nice bright paint for this one. There we go, police blue. Definitely not the best color, but I think it's nice and different and we haven't really used that color today So let's go for that one and then let's just go to V stancer go to suspension menu and Let's just uh, go for the height first There we go all the way up and then the height to match a Little bit less it, to be honest. It makes it look just like an off-roader Prius It doesn't make it look like much of a uh, gasser unless I get really obvious with the height difference that does look absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Let's go for a pokiness on the rear, tuckiness on the front. This does look absolutely stupid. This does not look like a gasser at all. I think the formula of nose up, tail down, or tail slightly lower doesn't really work in this case. It makes it just look what broken. But there we go, guys. I would love for you guys to let me know which one of those you preferred. If I have messed up gases yet again, Egg on my face, that will have to be a massive mistake and we can all have a laugh about it right now. Apart from those of you that haven't got this far in the video and you've already left me hate mail, that would be fantastic, <laughs> but not really. That would be it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize for messing up the gas. I think it wasn't really my intention. It was a genuine mistake of just not noticing my error. And there we go. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.